can insurance adjuster legally make a statement that the roof is repairable without showing contractor that's actually how to repair it? As we've seen in the video, it's kind of, you know, it's both people uh, arguing, it's stupid, they're repeating the same statements over and over, you can repair it. How? Am I doing it right? I cannot tell you how to do it. So in that scenario, if you've seen the video, can he demand without showing reasonable repair? So being a lawyer, I'll give the lawyer answer. Yes, because he owes no obligation to the contractor. None. Uh, now, does he owe an obligation to the insured? He does. All right, but to that contractor in that video, that adjuster owed no obligation to that contractor, nothing. Now, did they both violate the be kind rule? They did, all right? Was the contractor a bit of a jerk? He was. Did the adjuster do a very good job on the roof? No, he didn't, all right? I admit that, all right? I don't know anything about who the adjuster was. Could he have done a better job? Yeah, he could have. Right, but the bigger issue is what do you do when you're up there? Okay, well, again, we go back to be kind and be nice, but I understand that there is an expectation uh, of a contractor trying to help the homeowner to get some fair information out of the adjuster. Right, I recognize that and I hope adjusters will do that. But what I'm gonna say is that the problem we see in that video is a good example of it that adjusters face so much abuse day in and day out that they've realized it's safer to say nothing. S take pictures, send them back to home office and let the desk adjuster deal with it. And everybody complains that adjusters have no authority in the field now. All right, and I understand it's been taken away in large parts, but it's in large part because of the abuses they're dealing with and we all know the contractor or the PA shows up with a team of six people. I'm gonna videotape you and record you now. And adjusters have just realized, I'm gonna take my pictures and I'm gonna write my report and be done. Uh, and so remember, every action has an equal reaction. And I really think that's what we're seeing. Chet? Does he owe a legal duty? No, but... And I think the ladies in the crowd will, will hear me on this one. If you're right about something, why wouldn't you show the person that you're right about it? If you're gonna argue that it's repairable when it's, when it's not, and the roof requires a full replacement, why wouldn't you just say, okay, well, insured, contractor, PA, or even if there's an attorney up there for whatever reason, let's go do a repairability test right now and set, set the record straight. Uh, I, I don't know how many claims uh, that we have in the office where there's an 18 year old roof. For some reason, the insurance companies don't get repairability tests done on 18 year old roofs in Texas. Why? Probably because they don't want to know what the results are. <laughs> Plausible deniability. If we don't do it, we can always say that it's repairable. I think that was a complete answer, Dimitri. <laughs> He's just used to me filling my whole two minutes. Yeah. If you like, you can, you can finish. You have 40 seconds. You have, you so have, if, you if that particular video that y'all were talking about where it got into a, a heated debate up on, an, on top of a roof, it didn't matter if it was the, the contractor or a PA or the insured. You know, if you're right, show me. Show me that you're right, but they don't. And interestingly, I, we have a phrase on my side that we use, show me the damage. We use this all the time. We tell our consultants and our adjusters when they're up there with a PA or a contractor, show me the damage. And you know what we hear a lot of the time? It's right there. Yeah, yeah well, sometimes <laughs> we do. Yeah. It's right there. I've chalked the whole roof. But a lot of the time they say, no, 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 we're just here to record what you're doing. Uh, so again, I agree. We're all better off when they're up there having a dialogue, but things have become so polarized. And I think in that video, that contractor set the tone early and the adjuster said, I'm better off saying very, very little.